Roof planes that butt against vertical walls at the end of the shingle course are protected by a metal step flashing at least five inches high and five inches wide. When applying the new shingles, each shingle course will be covered by a step flashing. There are two simple rules to follow. Each flashing should overlap the one below by at least three inches, but not be visible below the shingle top lap. Embed each step flashing in a three inch wide application of asphalt plastic cement and nail in place. Then the end of each shingle overlapping a step flashing must also be well embedded in plastic cement. The metal step flashing shingles are rectangular in shape and style, approximately 10 inches long and at least two inches wider than the face of the shingle being used. For instance, when using metal flashing shingles with a typical five and five eighths inch exposure, the size of the flashing will be 10 inches by eight inches. The 10 inch length is bent in half so that five inches will reach up the wall surface and the other five inches will extend onto the roof deck. Note, other step flashing sizes are also acceptable. To install the flashing shingle on the first course, place it over the end of the starter strip. Place it so the tab of the end shingle covers it completely. Secure the horizontal flange to the roof deck using two nails. Do not fasten the flashing shingle to the vertical wall. This will allow the flashing shingle to move with any expansion and contraction that may occur with the roof deck. Place the second step flashing shingle over the end shingle in the first course by positioning it five and five eighths inches above the bottom edge of the exposed asphalt shingle. Make sure that the tab of the shingle in the second course will cover it completely. Secure the horizontal flange to the roof. The second and succeeding courses will follow with the end shingles flashed as in preceding courses. Chimney flashings are secured to the roof over top of the shingles and counter or cap flashings are secured to the chimney providing a waterproof seal. For pipe flashings around soil stacks, shingle up to the bottom of the stack. Apply plastic cement around the edges and then slide the new flashing over the soil pipe and into place. Nails used to secure flashings to the roof should be used sparingly, not be driven close to the pipe and where recommended by the manufacturer. Continue shingling, cutting to fit around the stack. Each cut shingle should be laid in a bead of cement. A dab of plastic cement over the exposed nails is recommended to avoid leakage.